Hi guys, welcome to another episode of 21 Questions with Managers. On today's episode, we've got John Franco talking to us about what it's like to lead his team over in St. Louis, Missouri. We'll go into a little bit about what he does and how he uses Office Vibe to help save his time when it comes to leading his team. Why don't you tell us a little bit about what, what it is that you do? Yeah, so I am a, a thinker and co-founder at, at Gorilla76. We help mid-sized B2B manufacturers identify, attract, engage, and, and drive sales opportunities with ideal fit client, customers. When I'm, when I'm trying to describe it to my mother i did i I would say we're an advertising agency but um we're we're much much more complex than that if you had one superpower right now being in your role which one would it be and why time travel i I did love the movie bill and ted's excellent adventure and i wish i had that magical phone booth that i could get in and go through time both both personally and and professionally and as far as um managing your team is concerned and time management within your team right now what would you say is the hardest part about being a leader managing the task at hand it's when you're in a leadership position a lot of people are trying to to get your time a lot of times i'll come in to work on x on a day and, and i'll end up working on y because somebody knocked on my door and there was a client fire or there was a personnel issue or whatever and you just have to address it how would you say you prioritize that how do you determine whether something is you know urgent and needs to be addressed right away versus something that can maybe be looked at a little bit later i'm I'm a marathon runner and whenever you're training you know some days you'll wake up and you'll be like oh i tweaked my knee yesterday well you can't just go out and do the same thing you've been doing you have to make those adjustments you have to listen to your body and, and I think the same is true when you're running a business and, and when you're trying to listen to your priority list, so to speak. Um, what about like different tools that help you prioritize your time? Is there anything specific that you use within your day to day to make sure that you're always staying the course, even when you're prioritizing some of those urgent fires that need to be put out? I'm not just saying this because I am on this Office Vibe video series, but Office Vibe is a top three tool for me. Well, we're really happy to hear that, you know, Office Vibe has been part of helping you find some of these solutions. What part of the Office Vibe tool has helped you do that? First of all, the entire tool is amazing. And I think I've, <laughs> uh, as, as I talked with some of your team in the past, I think I've barely scratched the surface of, of how we can use it. But the anonymous element of it's really great where people can provide feedback, um, the, the relationship with manager score, the recognition score, tons of great elements. But those two, those two elements alone, the uh, the engagement and employing that promoter score are invaluable for me. And in terms of like what the best part is of managing your team, what has has really helped you evolve as a leader by managing them? My team has helped me evolve as a leader, if I'm being honest. We have hired to those core values and those people have challenged me to be, uh, to put my money where my mouth is. How do you prioritize your own development as well as the development of the team when it comes to either some of the day-to-day practices that you do or just recognizing when it's time for you to step away from being so in the mix and needing to focus on yourself. I don't have a problem with my employees or myself putting in some reading at work. Like if you have downtime, use it wisely. How do you make sure that your team also makes sure, makes the time that they need to take care of themselves, whether that's with their own professional development or also outside of work? I try to check in once a week with all of my employees anyway to just see like, hey, especially now in the remote setting, um, have everything you need. What can we help? What can we give you to help you work towards your goals better? Um, we encourage our employees to put some of their uh, dreams, like dream goals, kind of like in, in like dreams in the sense, I want to own a house on a lake one day. Like, okay, well, let's talk about that. Like, what can we do to help you work towards that? As well as some of those more realistic personal goals, like, you know, complete my first 5K. I think it's important to, to manage those personal and professional goals or try to help your employees with both. Yeah, I don't know. I, did that answer your question? Yeah, it does. Yeah, thank you. Um, and it kind of ties into my next question as well, which is like, how do you manage your, your needs and your team's needs when it comes to some of the more work-related aspects um, of the day? Do you find that that's like a difficult a difficult sort of balance to strike. I literally have written, it's like, if you need anything, let me know. 
and and I can't enforce that enough. I, I don't think I've ever denied an expense. Like somebody needs a stand up desk, let's get it. I want to provide them with the resources they need to do the job. How do you keep track of those relationships to make sure that you know that you're strengthening and nurturing those relationships with your team um, rather than just having them be you know like transactional? The conversations that you have, like day to day, there's the Slack threads, there are the in person, like just the the water cooler talk. But a lot of it is just organic. It, it's just relationship building 101, right? It, it's listening to people and, and truly honing in and not not making it too much of a process. How do you manage the, um, I guess, like the processes that you do have in place in order to get the information that you need and also those relationships that are more authentic, well, that are more personable? Sometimes people struggle with just having that candid conversation. And that's where they had an anonymous tool. I was a little nervous at first. I thought it was going to just become like a complaint box. And it hasn't at all. It's been very, very constructive in terms of how you keep track of just making sure that everyone is aligned and and you know keeping everyone on the same course how do you do that in a way that is efficient and that makes it so that it's less arduous and not as much of like a a time consuming portion of your role office vibe does that for me and i i, I mean <laughs> that in all seriousness i mean the the one of the metrics i pay a lot of attention to is the alignment metric uh, we are up 0.1 point today. I'm, I have it open right now. We're at 8.9. Um, and so, I mean, right there, like that, that is where this is super helpful. So would you rather delegate to your team or do everything on your delegate. own? Delegate, delegate. I don't even need to hear the rest of the question. Delegate 100%. <laughs> if you had any like top three tips for managers that you had to give people to help them manage their time, which three would are your like non-negotiables? You gotta have a good project management software. Like that, that is something we've struggled with here a lot. You have to be disciplined to manage your time. And then I think it's just like, look for those tools that can help make your life more efficient. Lastly, if you had one extra hour in your day and then one less hour in the in the next day, how would you spend your time? Oh man, I don't want to give bad health advice because I think sleep's really important, but I probably would cut sleep. I would probably read more. If I had more time, I would probably read even more. I think it's like the single best thing we can do to to grow, to make our brains continue to work, to to learn about new things. I, I just think it's it's a very important thing that I, I would like to spend even more time doing. All right, well, thank you so much, John. It was such a pleasure chatting to you today. We really appreciate having you on 21 Questions with Managers. If you have any questions, you can also check out the comments where we'll link Gorilla 76 and also Office Vibe. Take care, John. Thanks, Erica.